how can I put this? His name is J. Daniel Umin, is it? U-M-I-N. Yeah. Uh, you portray him rather uh, as a somewhat despicable man. Um, he defends KGB agents and so on. Or, uh, am, I, am I botching this description of him? No, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, but one thing that happened in his early life is that he failed to get into the society at Yale. He got into, I think, uh, scroll and key rather than these society. And it's almost as if um, his life might be seen as a revenge for that, for all of that. Is that still important uh, at Yale, so much so? Was it ever that it could shape someone's life? Well, it, it's, it's funny you bring that up because it was satire. And John John Leonard, for whom I have great respect, he's a movie, he's the uh, book review of the New York Times, one of them, uh, in his review of this novel, he said, you know, Mr. Buckley probably knows more ex-communists than any other novelist in America. He knows Whitaker Chambers, uh, and uh, he knows Arthur... Um, um, uh, Kessler? Uh, Arthur Kessler. And yet he actually has this communist lawyer uh, having switched to the Communist Party because he was rejected by one senior society and had to take the second best. Then he says... Maybe it was a joke. So I'm going to see John Lennon later on today. And I will say, John, uh, who was that lady I saw you with last night? <laughs> and then I said, now, was that, a, that was no lady, that was my wife. Yeah. Now, is that a joke, John? <laughs> well, I, 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 um, no, no. And they invited me, and I canceled. But I canceled after a majority, 53%, of the senior class had asked that I be disinvited. The administration said, no, they wouldn't disinvite me because that would violate academic freedom or whatever it is they had in the class. And I said, uh, look, I've, I've got an awful lot to do. I was going to sail across the Atlantic on Tuesday. I should go to a uh, university and speak for nothing on Sunday <laughs> to people who don't want... Hey, I think, uh, I think a, a commencement address is part of a general celebration. And uh, it's one thing to go somewhere in response to an invitation in which the point is for you to make, to, to state your position on something, that should be protected by academic freedom. But I don't think you'd, you'd want to be present, I wouldn't in any case, in a situation in which a celebration was to be had and the majority of the people didn't want you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's conceivable that uh, the vast of senior body would find me as, as boring as I find the majority of the senior body of Bassa. <laughs> Most dangerous people. Uh, oh, sure. I think I think that, uh, for instance, if you survey the kind of uh, statements that were made about Barry Goldwater when he ran for president in 1964, you would have thought that if he had been elected, there would have been a nuclear holocaust sort of the next day, at least a depression. And uh, uh, somebody whose views are inseparable from his own was, in fact, elected president of the United States last November. And uh, nothing on that scale has gone wrong since. <coughs> um, feel corrupted by uh, it, it, I, it's not self-serving. It's merely a historical fact uh, that I have been a very close friend of Mr. Reagan for a lot, a lot of since 1960. Yeah. And so I wrote him in May and said that um, I didn't want any any position whatever in his administration if he was elected. So he wrote back and he said, um, "Well, that's too bad because I had counted on." appointing you ambassador to Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote back and I said, well... Did it say humor up in the corner of the... Uh, no, we don't need... We, <laughs> we people who deal in the clouds don't need these, uh, <laughs> these uh, stop signs. In any case, so you, I wrote back and I said, well, I would only agree to go to Afghanistan if you give me 15 divisions as a bodyguard. So he wrote back and he said, well, he'd see what he could do about that. But ever since, ever since then, he always refers to me as, as his ambassador. This is in private correspondence. And I give him occasional reports on what's going on in Afghanistan. But this is very confidential. I wouldn't be able to share it with you. I am sorry.